have another instance of where I came dangerously close to being sex trafficked. Or at least something, something. See, I won a Venus swimwear competition here. Um, <clears throat> like years ago. And it was at a bar. And I won. And I won a trip to Jacksonville, Florida to do like auditioning for this Venus swimwear. It was when they had a catalog or whatever. And I went on this trip. I got on a plane. I went to Jacksonville. I stayed in this hotel that they booked. There was a shuttle <clears throat> with all these girls. And all of these girls, they were taking pictures of all of the girls in the swimsuits for the chance to win, I don't know, a contract or something, whatever. Well, I didn't know it at the time, but like, <clears throat> it wasn't as, um, it wasn't as innocent as it seemed because there was a suite with all the executives and the men and there were certain girls that were picked to go upstairs. At the time I was probably upset, like, why wasn't I one of the girls picked? Why wasn't I what they wanted? Thank goodness for that. Because you see these Venus swimsuit pictures. They showed up somewhere else years later. They showed up on the dark web. And they showed up in a way that I still to this day cannot explain. <clears throat> see, I never had the hard copies. They gave me like a CD, you know, with my images on it. And I didn't get picked for the contract. Okay, so years later, I'm in pharmacy school. And a friend of mine... <clears throat> who was very smart at computers, but also very picked on by the other pharmacy students who are all adults, but yet they're still bullies, right? <clears throat> he came to my apartment one day with a disk drive, put it in my computer and said, is this you? <clears throat> and what he showed me was a website with my images from that photo shoot, which no one else had but me and the company. They were my images on this website with like kind of an archaic background, almost like, you know, an old school like website type format. And there was print. I remember the writing was in German, or at least it looked like German. And I said to my friend, what is this? Where did you get this? And he said, you don't want to know. And he said, don't worry, they didn't know who I was and I sh they shut it down, or he shut it down. I don't know what kind of dark business my friend was into on the internet, if he was a moderator, if he was the something. But he told me he wouldn't tell me what it was and that don't worry because he terminated the website. My best educated guess is it was some type of like human sale or something like those pictures, no one else had them. <clears throat> and for it to be on a website like that, I feel like it was like offering me for sale. I don't know. To this day, I don't know. But I know that I didn't get picked at the modeling search. And for that, I'm lucky. Just another instance of realizing how unsettling it is. Of how close I could have come to being trapped in a shipping container. Lucky for me, I never got picked. Lucky for me, I never got picked. Makes my hand shake. The reason I'm thinking about this is because I've been watching the things going on about Diddy and the real dark shit of how dark it is in that music industry world. And it just got me thinking how close I came. Because all of these girls that got sex trafficked like to the island and things, <clears throat> a lot of them were auditioning for music videos. They wanted to be that same girl that I wanted to be. And in that is why I say I'm lucky. I'm Queen Breezy. And I'm still alive. Queen Breezy and Kitty Cat Cassie. See you on the flip side. Over and out. Peace.